We talked about this before, but remember guys, at one point Amazon, the Amazon that we own today, lost more than 90% of its value, but long-term investors still got rich. So as of right now, AMC shareholders like myself are down tremendously. I bought my shares when AMC stock was in the $20 and $30 range, and I'm still holding onto those same shares. But we have to realize that if you buy into an asset that you believe has the potential to move up in price over time, again, you believe it's possible. You don't know for sure it's going to happen, but those that bought into Amazon stock at one point might have been down 90% which a lot of people probably call them crazy for still holding onto their shares. But look at them now and look at who has the last laugh. This ape said this is amazing news no matter how you spin it. And the shows are already fuming over the news, lol. Imagine getting all worked up on a holiday weekend for a stock you don't even know. And this is in regards to the 2023 total gross for the domestic yearly box office. Now going back in time during 2020 when everything was shut down, it was at 2.1 billion. Then in 2021, it moved to 4.4 billion. Then 2022, 7.3 billion. And finally last year, 2023, 8.9 billion. Comment down below what you think 2024's domestic yearly box office numbers are going to be. The safe says stock dividend equals game over. Money means pay some debts. Fundamentals equal money. Merch plus movie tickets equal fundamentals. Our position is so much stronger than hedge funds think. We are near the end. AMC together strong. A new tweet from Dave Lauer. Listen in. He said, get used to this kind of headline. Citadel is suing the SEC to prevent the commission from improving and modernizing regulations. Apparently, they're not happy with the cat and how it's being traded. They don't think they should have to pay for the system to watch over them. And this is in regards to Citadel and Trey Group suing the SEC and Exchange Commission on Tuesday over changes the regulator is making to how trading data are reported and paid for in the markets. Comment down below the real reason on why you think that Citadel is not happy about this. AMC, you are witnessing the biggest short trap in history of the markets. To set the trap, you must allow the opposition to think that they are winning. Allow their nefarious activity to continue until it's time to strike. Adam Marin Checkmate will bankrupt the shorts. They make claims that short selling is a necessity for market discovery. But why? If it's a bad company, then people will naturally sell the stock. Why do hedge funds get to decide that a company they don't like should die? They also make claims that dark pools are necessary. Because big orders could wreck the stability of the markets. Again, why? If a ton of people want to buy or sell a company, shouldn't that price reflect that? All these BS tools they invented, that they tell us are needed or the market won't work. Yeah, it won't work for them. This ape said, I fight for a fair and free market for all, not just banks and hedge funds. It's so much to ask that the apes just want a fair and free market, where there's transparency and where the numbers actually make sense. This ape said, just thought I'd share this, and this is an intrinsic value calculator which shows sort of the worst case, best case, and base case for a stock. And of course, with all the D, take it with a grain of salt. But this right here says AMC Entertainment's stock intrinsic value is currently around $35.44. Now with this price, this gives it an undervaluation of around 78%. But this brings up a good point and a good topic that I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think AMC's true share price is worth at the bare minimum as of right now? Not what it's trading at, but what is AMC actually worth? Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.